what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and what is going on on Mars? This is from the Curiosity rover Sol 778. Look at these the cube formation here. It looks like something on the top of it. There's a lot of symmetry up there on the top. Looks like there's some wire or something hanging over it. These pictures came back. Uh, this whole Sol, they're just finally filling in the whole thing now and it like getting some of the thumbnails to come up in it and uh, there's some amazing stuff on it look at the just in general this whole picture alone I got two pictures back to back here and uh, they, they go together like you can see this piece in the next one um, and here's like I said here's how it came from NASA and I'm gonna flip back to it it's got the blinds effects all over what do you see how bad they try to manipulate this photo look at this you ever seen it this bad before they definitely don't want you to see right, what's right here now that'd be a job for like one of my buddies like Olympus Sky or one of my uh, you know Mars Anomalies or Amazon uh, do, do you want to really mess around with the Photoshop try and clean that up here's as good as I got with it I, I still can't get those that many blinds effects out I get it out of a lot of the rest of them but that uh, that's looking gnarly down there um, but as we go through this picture look what it's covering up circles and, and you know triangles and stuff like that you're gonna see all sorts of stuff. I mean, this this picture is just loaded with anomalies. If I'm no, if I sound weird for my normal subscribers, I got a different headset on today because the other one's charging. Um, I had to do some like I had to use it for work today for meetings, so I used all the battery up. But look at the. Uh, I hope you guys can see the symmetry in this stuff. It looks in these rocks look to be carved or whatever this stuff is. It almost looks like technology. Um, check out up here the circles comes up along there and I've also got it in black and white so you guys can take a look at it here's this over here uh, let me show you where I got it from so everybody can see where I got it from here's the one right here and uh, this is from 778 like I said it is the gift that just keeps on giving this thing is given so many pictures it's amazing and this will be all linked below you don't have to worry about copying this down there just go ahead and, and click description on the video if you're watching this on a website just click the YouTube button and uh, it'll take you to it and uh, the other one's right here. Let me show it to you. You can just go pick any of those pictures and you're going to find anomalies. Here's that box anomaly. And uh, the stuff up in the top, still there. Look, whatever that is. And then you got more and more. This whole picture is just filled with stuff. Mars has been littered. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this is junk from an old civilization. It looks like ruins to me. But it's been so changed so much by NASA, you know. Look at this one, too, with the blinds effects, the blurring all over it. It's, uh, pretty despicable that's being done to be honest with you uh, you know normal people will come here and they don't have Photoshop or they don't take the time to open these things up and look at them why would they and see what that you know oh wow this is kind of you know and curiosity really wasn't made they say the mass game wasn't made to take these real long shots to have all this stuff in it and you know granted that's fine I, I understand that but it still should do better than this <laughs> you know you shouldn't have it looks fine when you're at this level, but when you push it in a little bit, you shouldn't see that that hiding, you know, all those blinds and stuff that hides this. So let's check this that let's check this thing out because up on top are some amazing things. Here, check this out. I thought this one was cool. It's got this uh, like a little perfect oval stuck in it. Almost looks like it's got a little circle base around it. It's next to another 90 degree piece. Um, and then this thing right here kind of interest to me. Now I got this on black and white so you can see it in black and white. A lot of people like the black and white. Um, I've been getting a lot of compliments on it. It says you can see a lot of the depth with it a little bit better. I'm not trying to make you sick as I come in and out of it but here we go. Let me flip it back to color and that's from NASA. So you can see that it's there. We're not, like I said, I'm not really changing anything. I'm just pulling the stuff out. That's all I do. But Come up here for the more amazing stuff. Alright, so here's that one block right there. You, see you got your stuff just kind of strewn about here's another piece right here it's kind of rounded off and then what is this this kind of looks like there's a sphere in the middle of something that's it almost looks like a geode of some sort that's on its back but you know other than that I don't know what else to call that but it definitely doesn't look natural I mean it looks like it's interesting it looks like you can walk into it you know and I start to wonder a lot of people swear that the beings up there are only this big you know or they're a third of our size or you know they it would start making some of these some of these what we see 
make a little bit more sense, you know, because a lot of this stuff looks like small villages. I mean, it's amazing. And maybe there is life up there now that can live in this, you know, in this actual circumstance, you know, in that. People always say just because life on Earth can't, you know, well, you need oxygen, you need this, that. But what if stuff evolved on that planet? Maybe they don't need that to survive. Maybe different beings can survive off of different things. Just here, we're carbon-based and we breathe oxygen. But... You guys see what I'm seeing here? Check out that thing. This is kind of cool here. Look how the, uh, either the strat or whatever makes this look like a sad old man with a wide open mouth. Pretty cool. Let's see if it stays there. Yeah. Let's see when I go back to the NASA version. It's there. And that's where I see, okay, well, that's just some matrixing going on in my head, you know. And I can, you know, I understand that. But check these out. Wait till you get over to this piece. This looks like it was, it's fallen over or something. Or maybe we don't have the right perspective of it. It definitely looks like it's falling over, but from back here, it just looks like a couple rocks, you know. Oops. Don't get sick, guys, sorry. But uh, when you come in tight on it, I'm using my mouse pad, you start to see this stuff is a little bit more than just rocks. Look at the look at the uh, the cuts in it. Look at the perfect spheres in it down here. A couple of different cuts. See that up to there? Just interesting. It almost looks like a uh, piece of a building just kind of falling over. There's Look at the angles, nice angles in it another 90 degree angle there this looks like another 90 it continues you know it continues on and goes down um, what we got here up at the top looks like it's rounded off like a dome part you know like some of the roofs you would see were not totally domed but just kind of rounded off looks like it's got a chain or something rolling through it's pretty far away so imagine that that'd be fairly big up on there and then this piece is just kind of random you don't really see much let me go back to the original and look at the color too. See everything. This is what I love about the color version. When you pull the colors out, you can see it's different color rocks. They've got did this piece right here is a different color than that. I didn't color this. You know, this comes from NASA like that. But they add that chunky. You know, here and all you do to do this. This is the background layer right there. All I did was basically auto color, and uh, you get it. You know, and then I've sharpened it up a little bit just to get see how I was able to get this stuff out of it. You know, I'm trying to learn how to combat these things, the blinds and stuff like that. I'm getting better at it because you get a lot of it, but you still lose some of that, some of that sharpness that you see. But as this keeps going on, this gets more and more intricate. Um, let me go ahead and pull that back. Actually, step backwards. Oops. Let's see what that did. There it is. That's normal again. So, oop. But up here, look at this. Look at the comes up comes around comes down comes up just interesting shapes you know rocks are interesting shapes too like i said i think if you made it this far in the video you're probably you know <laughs> you subscribe to the fact that there's either ruins up there or there's something living now i love you to comment below and and say you know oh i think there's something up there now or, or this is something that's been there check this out this thing comes up like this and it comes to a point and it comes down over and you you can see it here too when you come around here you can see it's like a fin you know, it's pretty neat. And there it is when you do this. Look at all that. Here's where it said, look at the disgustingness. Well, we weren't allowed to see what was ever over here. But what was ever here wasn't supposed to be seen by us. And this is what I call the little frog monument. Check this guy out. And you see this guy looks like a little frog or something right here. Like a big smiley face frog. Like you'd see <laughs> like a mascot for something. Which, uh, like I said, that's just, I always say that's just interesting. That's just my eyes. When I see faces and stuff like that, unless it's clear, clear, clear cut. Um, but see that piece, how that comes off along there? I thought that was kind of interesting, like a little fin. That looks like two little eyes. But look, check the uh, more 90 degree angles that come down. Just the stuff, this piece right here, a little triangle coming up. It's got a little square piece around it. And out of the triangle, let me move that out. The triangle's got two lines coming. And you can still see the stuff when you come in close, too. So it does blur up a little bit, but I mean, this definitely looks like the front face of something. Two eyeballs and big mouth something look at almost like a fish like creature but okay now let's look at these rocks right here these look to be quarried or something this has a little triangle piece in it this is pretty cool let me go ahead and I'll take it back to how NASA sent this picture out you can see it's got this cut here it looks like it's been taken some rock here it's got the same thing down here it looks like stuff's been chipped off of it but all right and then when you clean it up a little bit you really can pull out this triangle let me turn it to black and white and then uh, do this for you guys and look over here too it's, it's in here and this whole place is this is where I said that it looks like the uh, 
the old man's face, which just happens to be next to that other one. And this stuff just looks like it's kind of collapsed down on itself. Um, this almost looks like an upside down face, but let's see here. Adjustments, brightness, we're just going to bump that up so you guys can bring the contrast. All right, now I'm going to slowly go back down through it, do the shading. So, that, that, see how it stays dark? It's much darker than the other part of the picture. When you have that real bright stuff on the top, it's hard to you know do the whole picture at once. Almost like you should equalize it in separate pieces. What we have down here, more little interesting little trinkets or something. All right, let me go back to the color. It looks like we've got a sphere in there. I don't know, guys. As I come to this one, the main thing I... Oh, here too. I checked this all you guys. This showed you this when we came over to it. This looks look at that perfect little tool or something. Looks like it was made to the piece comes up to here. It's got one hole, two holes, something coming up on it, and then one, two. It almost looks like a tool of some sort. Who knows what it is, you know? But it definitely looks like it was made, you know, made by the hands of something. Um, it's like this piece here. It looks like it was rounded off and made by something. And hopefully you guys can see that and. Uh, like I said, if you watched a video this long, I think you're probably with me on a lot of this stuff. Let me show it black and white. Let me back up a little bit, show you this one one more time, see if I missed anything I wanted to talk about. Let me show you, make sure I saw this over here all the way. I thought these were just kind of interesting, too. This rock here, it look, like, look like formation. See how everything's kind of boxed off here and here, too. It's almost like it's got some sort of rope around it or something, or something around it. And hopefully you guys can see that. Um, there we go. I love to see this piece right here, whatever's coming in here. It looks like, but hopefully you guys can see that stuff. Like I said, as always, I always, uh, I always like to get a little out of there. I fantasize to get a little out there. If you watch my videos, I'm not afraid to admit it, <laughs> but I have fun with it. It's a hobby of mine, and uh, like I said, I'm making. I had to stop, make, take a little break to make a video. I got the uh, siding spring was interesting, and I'm going to make a video on that here soon. I've been kind of waiting to see if anything else came out from NASA or ESA. Seems like a lot of spacecraft didn't catch it. Opportunity caught it. Didn't seem like Rover or, or, or um, at least they haven't released it yet. Curiosity didn't get a chance to catch it. But what do you guys think about that? What do you what do you think this is? Comment below, and then make sure let me show you this one in full. I'll switch to black and white. See. If, anything I missed. Look, gosh, look how nasty that is. Let me show you how it was originally. Are you guys sick of the sick of the cover up here? I mean, or like I said, or that just might be the camera, right? It only happens at certain times when <laughs> only happens when it's uh, interesting stuff we're looking at. When it's just, you know, a normal rock set that has a couple rocks here and there, or different colors here and there, or the side of a mountain that we looked at when we first got it, that happens. But otherwise, those, those marks are never there. Alright, check this straight up over I know you guys got, look at this, looks like it's growing from here to there. See this comes down over. I saw the water on here and I'm also doing, a, I got a couple of videos going right now that I'm working on. One's going to be the water on Mars that I just cannot believe the rover, when they found those, it looked like some kind of liquid dripping down. It didn't stop and take some sort of sample. It drives me insane. Or they didn't turn around. I would turn the rover, oh actually they didn't even need to turn around. They've been driving in reverse from what I've been, you know, listening um, I don't know if they're still doing that, but they were for a while. They just drive forward and go back and take some samples. Look at the, just how this stuff seems laid out. Okay, here it seems whatever this is is growing out. It's connected to, between the two here. But you got like two perfect spheres right there. I mean, they're like perfect. Yeah. My little ramp thing right there. Let me pull it back all the way. And we'll, we'll just go through the uh, colors one time. And then I will let you guys get on out of here. Comment below. There's the black and white version of it. There you go. Let me just kind of zoom in down here one more time. Not trying to make you guys sick. Look at that. Anytime you get, there's more pieces that look like metal or you know have natural, unnatural shape stuff that looks like it's been carved, been worked over, and you know, by little mini hands. Some of this stuff maybe there are little guys this big. And let me know what you guys think about that. I love to know all my subscribers' thoughts. You know, do you think there is something going on, or if there is life, um, is it underground? What do you think it is? Are we seeing 
remnants of an old society? Are we seeing something that's new? Um, comment below. Let me know what you think, guys. Let me go back up to our main guy one more time. Check it out. Tell me that doesn't look like a perfect cube. It has something on top of it that's connected to it. Whatever to it is connected to it. And also, it looks like it's got a, something coming off of it. Here it comes around. There's a perfect square here. It looks like you can walk in the side door of it right here. Maybe this stuff is. Uh, maybe that's the entrance to something. And we're just uh, the little guys are little. So, all right, guys. Much love to you. What's up in the sky? My name is Will. Check out the website www.whatsupinthesky.com. It's growing every day. Adding more stuff. Adding more people. Got a lot of people signing up. Um, so much to do here, so many pictures to make, so many videos to make. I hope to see you soon. Got some moon stuff coming to you. Peace.